everyone. I'm your host, Diva Danielle, and this is Community Link AZ. Thank you for joining the show. This is the internet show that's a resource for you to people, products, and services in your own backyard you might not even know of. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Each week, I'll introduce you to someone who is helping to make a positive difference in the community. We're going to have some fun, learn something new, and connect in a positive way. Let's start the show. Hi everyone, I'm your host Eva Danielle and this is Community Link AZ. Thank you so much for watching the show. As you can see, I'm on location today. I'm in the city of Tempe here to help out two nonprofits. They've partnered together and they come together every Tuesday night for a big event that helps the homeless right here in this community. Eris Foundation and Lost Ones Found. This is like a family affair. They do more than feed the homeless. They make an impact. Hopefully this video will help motivate you and inspire you to either donate, support them by volunteering, or just help them by following their social media. They've got a lot going on and they could use your support. So today's show is a location shoot and it's going to be a lot of fun because this is your opportunity to see exactly what takes place in the community and how we make a difference going forward in the lives of others. Let's start the show. Yeah, look at that. Here at JC Park every Tuesday night, these are some of the volunteers. we got a snow cone machine. It's not every day you get to see a snow cone machine. A number of homeless individuals in the community come out. They've got food stations over here, volunteers lined up with all the different food. Then you have all the different individuals lined up patiently to wait to get their food. This is so nice. It's very orderly here. Individuals donating their time, their resources. There's a bunch of different uh, volunteers who've donated shirts. JC Park. This is Michael. He's one of the homeless individuals right here in the Tempe area. And I have to say, Michael, the last couple of times I've come, I've seen you here, and you've got such a big personality. Yeah. Well, I've been here coming here for about two years so far. You've been coming for two years? Two years yeah. That's good. What does it mean when you get to come to this park? Because when I came the first time, I didn't think it was a handout. I thought it more like a family affair. Um, no, it's actually the less fortunate where we come together and they actually Mm -hmm. and, um, it's like, you know, it gets us away from the, what we're going through. There are very nice people here. Um, I love it. And I look, got a couple of friends. I met a lot of good people here, a lot of good friends. Kathy has a matter of fact, you know who she is. Yeah, you meet a lot of good people here. And Michael's just one of the good people that you can meet here in the community. So. This is why I do what I do with Community Link AZ. I encourage you to come out, be a part of the community. You can help individuals like Michael and some of the people you see behind me. So get involved. That's what this is all about. We're going to have some fun, right? Yes, yes, yes we are. Go eat some good food? Yes, they always have good food. You know, you can't get anything off of all the sandwiches, uh, uh, toiletries, as far as deodorants, soap. Base, you know, the necessities that you're to need, baby wipes, um, everything. Where they have hygiene products, everything you need, the essentials. There's feminine hygiene products, there's masks, there's shampoos, there's conditioners, everything you can need. Toothpaste, toothbrush, so look at this, baby wipes, everything you can need, masks. More masks, cough drops. Um, how many is in our garage? Like 20 boxes of sweaters. There's band-aids. Really? Yeah. Night yeah. quill. Water, catering, snacks, clothes. Aspirins, batteries. All kinds of things. Everything that you can need. These are some of the volunteers. There's Michelle. Uh oh, all my all my girlfriends are gonna be like, who's that? <laughs> all the different volunteers coming out here every Tuesday night between 4:45 and 6 p.m. at JC Park in Tempe. So it's not every day you get to talk to tall, dark, and beautiful, but you know when you come out here to JC Park, this is what you get to see. It's not just an event that helps the homeless; you get to see some beautiful people all the way around. And Nick Baker is one of them. He is the founder of Lost Ones Found, and he helps out here, and he's partnered with Eris Foundation. And we want to talk about the great work that you do, because if it wasn't for individuals like yourself, mm -hmm. a lot of these people would have nowhere to go. So why do you do it? Mm -hmm. The why. The why is the easiest part, because there's a need. Mm -hmm. There is a need. There is a need for, for what we're doing in the community throughout the world. And we're just trying to stop by uh, changing the city of Tempe first. Yeah, 
that's good. And you have a lot of things in the works, and I encourage people to follow them on social media because they post constantly because they're in need of help. They need volunteers, they need donations. And one thing that you're getting ready for is the holidays. Yes. So yes. we want people to jump on board and help yes. you and fill those stockings. Yes, our big Christmas bash. We must have probably about 200 kids on Christmas that we get to take care of. And when I mean kids, I just mean less fortunate. I call them kids even though most of them are older than me, but they are my kids and they are in my heart. And the things that we need for Christmas are the same things that your kids need, you know? The, the things that they really love, right? Socks, underwear, hygiene items, all these great things that you put in the stock and that the kids never open. Send them to us. Send them our way. We need that kind of love and so don't the kids on our streets. So, so how can they get a hold of you? Because I know they can follow you on social yes. media, but how yes. can they get a hold of you? Uh, Aris Foundation on Facebook. Also Lost Ones Found on Facebook. Lost Ones Found AZ is the tag. ArisFoundation.com or Aris Foundation on Facebook. And we just have, like Danielle said, so much stuff being posted every single day. I'm sure you guys are getting sick and tired of me by now. <laughs> but um, yes, those are the ways to get a hold of us. You send us a message and you want to get involved, we have a position for you to uh, jump into. This is somewhere there's always a, a place to serve. So It's good stuff. Lots of good stuff. So people are going to be eating that are in line behind yes, us. Yes, yes. People are going to be receiving hygiene products. Oh, we got t-shirts to give away. We got dinner time. We got yeah. pasta. Pasta. And they do this every Tuesday yeah. night. Yes, every Tuesday. Good stuff. Thank you. To help Eris Foundation and Lost Ones Found give back to the community in a big way. They do more than feed the people here. There are a lot of people who have been coming here since the start. As you can see, all the individuals lined up here waiting for their hot meals. And every Tuesday, it's something different. It could be sandwiches, it could be spaghetti, it could be hamburgers on the grill. More volunteers volunteering their time, individuals in the community. This is what it's all about. There's Nick Baker right there with the blue shirt and the blue mask, talking to one of the individuals, just making them feel at home and welcome. That's Catherine's slogan, Catherine Kubelis Edick, who's the founder of Eris Foundation. Her slogan is, love them where they are. So Catherine Kubelis Edick is the founder of Eris Foundation. And every Tuesday night, as you can see, a lot of stuff takes place here. But this is what I was trying to explain to you. It's more than just helping the homeless with a meal. It's like a family affair. It is. It has to be. Otherwise, they wouldn't want to come back. I mean, don't get me wrong. They'd come for the food because it's fantastic. We have amazing hosts for all the food. But they come back because they know they can get resources here. We can hook them up with housing or medical or um, hygiene for the week, peanut butter and jelly, whatever they need. It's an ongoing thing. And every Tuesday night, 4.45 to 6 p.m., they are here at J.C. Park in Tempe. Let's get a real quick little story about why you actually started to do this. This is amazing. So um, I started volunteering with a group called Tumbleweed about actually exactly nine years ago on uh, October 1st. And I had just turned 40 and I was like, I want to do something. And they they catered to the homeless in Tempe who were younger, <laughs> the 18 to 25 year olds. And I fell in love with them, all of them. I loved them all. And then they declared bankruptcy. So all of a sudden my kids were out there and they didn't have any resources, they had nothing. And I thought, I. I I need to do something. So I literally just put clothes in the back of my van, drove around Tempe trying to find them. And uh, talking to my mom, she's like, you, you gotta be a little more organized. So we decided we're gonna pick the same night, the same time every single week. So Tuesday, we feed at five o'clock and that's it. And now we've gone from like two kids to 150 every Tuesday night. It's a fantastic thing. She's a wonder woman here uh, in Tempe. Yeah. I want you to get involved and I want people to know where they can yes. go to support you because you have a lot of cool, we fantastic do. things coming up for the holidays. We do, lots of them. We're looking for um, filled stockings. Santa's coming out, just to let you know, Santa and his elf, he's coming out on the 22nd to hand out stockings. Of December, yes, right? Yes, December. December. So uh, we're looking for filled stockings with anything, Play-Doh, bubble gum, anything that would be fun because that's what Christmas is about. Um, we also have a Thanksgiving event coming out. Anytime you have any extra Halloween candy, we will take it. Candy is an amazing miracle out here. They don't get it often, so when they get it, they're super excited. Baked goods. If you're a baker and you want to make some cookies, we've got an airplane. We've got an airplane going overhead. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make cookies? Make cookies. They love them. Anything homemade is such a treat for, for the homeless kids. Some of these kids have been out here since they were like 15, 16 years old, and now they're 30. So for them, they've missed out on a lot of those fun things that maybe we grew up with. So anything like that would be great. And clean out your closets, because we go through so much clothes. It's crazy. So anything yeah. used, clothes, blankets, all that kind of stuff. Good stuff. You can follow them on social media. You can find them on Facebook, Eris Foundation, and also Lost Ones Found. Yes. We are like, she is it's, running out of time. She's yeah. got another it's, interview no, to do. No, it's jail calling me. <laughs> they go to jail, and then they call me. Because
because nobody else has money on their books. So yeah. we talk to them, we send them postcards. If anybody also wants to uh, write to some of our kids who are currently incarcerated and will be over the holidays, we do Christmas cards, that kind of thing. So See, she if you're does looking it to all. do that, we would love it. Would they love it. The Wonder Woman of Tempe yeah. every Tuesday night. Get I'm involved. Tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Come volunteer, donate your time, donate your resources, or just follow them and support them by sharing their social media posts. I appreciate you, Kathy. Thank this you so much. Fun. Thank you. Oh, this is always good. Come on out. We'd love to have you. Well, tonight was a fantastic night coming to you from JC Park in Tempe out on location. It was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I hope so. This is what my show is all about, Community Link AZ, linking you to people in the community. Please do your part to follow Eris Foundation and Lost Ones Found on social media. You can donate, you can volunteer, or you can simply share their posts because they post a lot of all the things they have going on. If it wasn't for these nonprofit organizations, our community would be all over the place. It's the volunteers and the things that they do to make an impact, a positive impact, in the lives of others going forward that makes a difference. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Community Link AZ. I'm your host, Diva Danielle. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on that button. I'd love your support. And also like my page on Facebook, Community Link AZ. I'll see you next week.